All right, so we have our BSP in place. Our next step is to put materials along these surfaces. Now we're going to start with the floor. We're going to be putting our materials onto our surfaces using the content browser. And there's a couple of different ways we can open the content browser. One is with the content browser button located here in the main toolbar. It's a little tiny gray Unreal logo, and you'll notice that it says open the content browser as its tooltip. Another way is to go into the view menu, choose browser windows, and choose content browser. And this is what you get. This is the content browser, which contains all of the assets that you can place in your level. Now, there are some videos specifically over the content browser in the UI section. So what we're going to do is keep things very simple to exactly what you need to know to make all of this stuff happen. First off, make sure you click the All Assets button so that you see all of the assets included with UDK. And then here in the filter panel, in the middle of the content browser up near the top, I want you to check the Materials checkbox. This is going to give you a list of all of the materials that are included with UDK. And we're going to search for a specific material. So I want you to type floors into the search line, space BSP. And you're going to get a pretty wide selection of different floor materials that you could potentially add. Feel free to add any one of these. As a matter of fact, as I'm adding these materials, and even later on, as I'm adding decorative static meshes into the level, feel free to diverge from the lessons a little bit. If you see a material that you would rather put on the floor of your level or on the walls or a different static mesh you'd like to place, venture out, have some fun. But what we're going to do is grab M underscore LT underscore floors underscore BSP underscore master. So MLT floors BSP master. I'll start omitting the underscores. Select this material. Now I'm going to restore down the content browser just a little bit. So we have a little bit more screen space. Now check this out. This is how easy the content browser is to use. We see our material. I'm just going to drag this and drop it right here onto the floor, and voila. We have a material. Now, you'll notice it didn't hit every single surface. Wherever we had an edge, that's kind of a different surface, so we can drag it onto here, and then come in here into the doorway and drag it onto here as well. So that's cool, right? Okay, so the next thing we want to put on is a material on the walls. And before we do that, I'm going to slide the content browser out of the way, and we can take a look at how that floor looks. So it's looking good, but the walls still look kind of funny. Now, I'm going to show you a trick to putting materials on the walls, because we have a lot of wall surfaces. You know, this surface, and then this surface, and then this one, and there's just so many of them. So what I'm going to do is select one wall, Right-click on that surface, and there's a Select Surfaces submenu. This is here to help you select BSP surfaces in a variety of different ways. So what we're going to do is grab all adjacent walls, and you'll see that that grabbed every one of our walls all the way around the level. It did omit a couple of things. So uh, we could grab, hold down Control, and select the underside of the doorway here. I think that's pretty much everybody. So now with these guys selected, I'm going to drag the content browser back into play. And we're going to search for an entirely different material. So here inside your type search line where we typed floors BSP a moment ago, I want you to type buildings space BSP. And you should get two separate materials. You have MLT buildings BSP bunker wall stripe and bunker wall 1A. We're going to use bunker wall 1A. So I'm going to select that here inside the content browser. I'm going to slide the content browser out of the way. Now I'm going to right click on the surfaces. Now I still have all these selected and we're going to choose apply material and there's our material listed. Click and notice it applies it to everybody. Also notice that it looks a little funny. On some surfaces it's oriented one way, on other surfaces it's kind of rotated around another way. Don't worry about that right now. We're going to fix all of that kind of stuff a bit later. For now let's just focus on the ceiling. For the ceiling, I am going to pick on another material. We're going to search for floors BSP again. So let me just grab buildings and replace that with floors. And the particular material that I'm looking for is MLT floors BSP organic 05B. So if you want to, you can add organic to your search line. You can probably jump right to it. Now I'm going to drag this right onto the ceiling and that takes care of that. But in here, things are a little different because we have like five separate surfaces that we need to place materials on. So a little bit of back and forth here inside the content browser. And just to kind of clean things up, I'm not really using the source panel over here on the left. So I'm going to click this little white arrow here on the left side. 
and I'm not really using the tags panel, so I'm going to click on the arrow on the right side, and that'll just open up some extra room for me. Now, here inside the search area, we're going to search for some more stuff. So we have floors, BSP. I'm going to type in recycle as well. And that's going to give us exactly the material that I have in mind. It looks kind of like a little vent or grate. And I'm going to drag that right into the center of the ceiling, like so. Now I have these five surfaces that kind of surround that piece. So I'm going to hold down Control and click on all of those to select them. And then back up here in the typed search line, I'm going to grab trims, so T-R-I-M-S space B-S-P. And there's the one I'm looking for already. It's M-L-T trims B-S-P organic 01. So let's just select that. I'll right click here inside my level and choose apply material and that'll just apply that everywhere. So I can close the content browser at this point and let's maximize our viewport and as I walk around the level all of our surfaces that we can actually see have had their materials replaced with something we can actually use. Now again just as a reminder these all look pretty bad right now. We still need to adjust the actual positioning of the texture but we're gonna deal with that in the next video. For now go ahead and save your level and then we'll move forward from here.